Welcome to By the Numbers. I'm Renee Smith. And I'm Michelle Fleming. Well, Michelle, today we're going to talk about relative magnitude of numbers again. So I think we're talking about starbursts. That's <laughs> well, what I'm thinking. Well, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, we're talking about the size of numbers, mm -hmm. and some numbers are very small, and some numbers are very large. But we need kids to be able to know where a number would fall in relationship to another number. So we're going. You know what I thought about when you said some numbers are very small, <laughs> some are very large. Oh no! I'm thinking that some numbers are very small, small. and some, some are very, very large. large. You're so good. Well, that's what young kids would think about when you talk about small and large numbers. Okay, we're going to have okay. all of our numbers be I the work same with the little size. Ones, so. Okay, but. We, we want them to be able to compare as well. So we want them to know what's close to another number, what's far from another number, and sometimes what falls in between numbers. Okay. Okay, so that's okay. what today is about, close, far, and in between. So I'm going to actually put some numbers that I've written on Post-it notes. There's your three numbers that we're okay. working with on this round, okay? And I've chosen specifically numbers that are 10 and under to talk about with the little kids. Okay. Now. As we all know, sometimes little kids need to actually represent those numbers to see their relationships. So they, mm -hmm. why don't you build those other two? I did the easy one. I'll help you with the last one. Okay. Two, four, six. I thought you were going to say which one is in ten. between and the furthest. I'm like going, uh, you don't have any numbers big enough for those starbursts Actually, out there Actually, I want to know based upon the three numbers that I gave you, which two are closest in size? Eight and ten. Uh-huh, and if they didn't know that, they could actually compare one to one mm -hmm. to see which mm -hmm. ones were closest in size. Which ones are the furthest away, are far away? Oh, ten and three. Which one falls in between the other two? Eight. Tell me a number that falls between three and eight. Four four would fall between three and eight. So there's lots of mm -hmm. things I can do mm -hmm. with just three numbers in a set mm -hmm. and talk about close, far, uh, in, between, in between because those are skills that kids need to be able to do when they go to school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's for our okay. little kids. We actually show that one to one if they need it. But if they already are a little bit beyond that, they may not have to have something that, to count with. Yeah, but definitely a great skill even because they're practicing their one-to-one -one correspondence and they're practicing that those number, this, what those numbers look like. Okay, so, we, we don't have enough starbursts for so the next set. That. So for the next get set. The starbursts then. <laughs> so I would continue on up. I might do two digit numbers okay. with my next age of students, but we're going to bump this up for you a little bit because I know you're well, you pretty know smart. I haven't slept much. You uh, know that. Well, right? then we're going to test you a little bit, okay. but we're going to do the same exact skill. So we might say, uh, even though I didn't pick any that were completely on the decade or anything like that, mm -hmm. but I might say which one would fall between the other two. This one falls between. Okay, because I have 219, 364, and 457, mm -hmm. and that's the order they would fall on a number line. Mm -hmm. I might ask you, now I'm going to make the questions a little bit more difficult. Okay. What if I asked you to tell me a number that is a multiple of five that falls between the 219 and the 364? A multiple Three, of five. 360. 360. And so mm -hmm. I can work on lots of different skills just with those sets of three I numbers. I like this one when you, because I'm waiting for you to say which one is 364 closest to. Oh, so what would you do to figure that one out? Wow. If That's I, a little harder. But if I add 100 to this, I'm at 464, and this number's less, less than that. But not much less. But not much less. And if I subtracted a hundred, I'd be at two hundred sixty-four, and this number is below that. Quite so a I bit. I know this one is closer to four hundred. That was a great strategy. I like that. You didn't have to actually get out a pencil and paper and do the subtractions or the additions. You actually could use some of your uh, mm -hmm. mental math or estimation skills for that. Which is something that, as parents, we have to really encourage with our kids is to think about the size of numbers. Don't just always get out paper and pencil and do that rote calculation. Actually think about the number size and what you know about adding by tens and hundreds and, and thousands and so on because that's where number sense comes. If kids only know how to do that procedure, rote procedure and then they get an answer and you say, are you even close? They don't know what close is. They don't know what close is. So they need to be able to understand, look at, look at it from a common sense perspective of how close are the numbers together. Right. So if you think this is just a skill for 
younger elementary kids, let me bump it up one more notch. Oh boy, oh she's boy. really going to challenge me now. And actually this is going to be an important skill in the near future because our, our younger students are going to have to be able to do this as well. Ah, those, good those, old fractions. those good old numbers, and a lot of people don't think of these as numbers. They, they think about them as parts and holes and mm -hmm. they don't even consider them as numbers. And that they fall between, usually, these, these fall all, between zero and one. Right, and that's a good mm -hmm. thing, that, I mean, that, that you would get mm -hmm. want to talk about is mm -hmm. where do these even fall on a number line. But we could do the exact same thing that we've been doing with our whole numbers with our fractions to help our students start to understand cool. less than one numbers that are less than one. So I could do those same skills with you with those numbers. Awesome. All right. So you're going to ask me what's a number between? I could, I could ask you what's a number that falls between one-fourth and one-half? I'm going to take the easy route out today and say one-third. That works. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's just a great way to help your kids start to be able to compare numbers and see where they fall again cool. on the number line. Thanks for joining us for another episode of By the Numbers. And for more episodes of By the Numbers or any of our other episodes, um, go to mykidsturn.com.